Do you have a pile of alcohol inked backgrounds you've created and you're just not sure what to do with them? Well, today is your lucky day because I have one technique and I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. The best part is it's going to help inspire you to get using your stash and get creating some cards. Let's get into it. The first way to do this technique is to use thin dies. Using them to emboss is a great way to get the most out of your supplies. You can do this two different ways and depending on the look that you want to achieve will determine which way you're going to emboss with your thin dies. If you want just the thin lines highlighted, then you are going to need to put your background ink side up on top of the die. If you want a more dramatic look, you need to put the inked side face down onto the die. I created the sandwich according to my die cut machine instructions for embossing a thin die. This is going to vary depending on your machine, so be sure to check your own instructions. I run it through the machine once and then I'm going to take off the Yupo paper from the die. For this next step, you are going to need a nail buffer and I like to get a package of them off of Amazon. This is where the magic happens and I'm sure you're going to be as addicted as I am to this technique because it's so simple and the look is just amazing. You're going to take the buffer and start sanding off those raised areas. The more you sand off, you will begin to see the indents from the embossing are still saturated with color. To add even more interest to my background, I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and rose alloy to add some splatters. I'm sure you noticed that the paper is warped, but I have a solution for this later on in the video when I start assembling the cards. So be sure to stick around. I really wanted to see if the foil plates were going to work for this technique because they are a little bit pricey and I definitely want to get the most out of my supplies. I ran it through my machine the same way I did the thin die, and you can use the same concept as I explained with the thin dies. If you want a more subtle look, then you need to put the inked side face up. And if you want a more dramatic effect, then be sure to put the inked area face down on the foil plate. Now you're going to sand off the raised areas, and I chose to keep this one more subtle as I wanted the background to stand out more on this card. And be sure to stick around as I will be sharing the finished cards later on in this video. But first, I'm going to share my absolute favorite way to do this technique, and that's using 3D embossing folders. Because they are so detailed with different levels of raised areas, this is going to give you the best result when sanding. I ran it through my Spellbinders machine with a Sizzix platform. Now here's the best part. I absolutely love the reveal as I am sanding away all of that color. Here's a quick tip. The buffer has four sides. Use all of them if you need to. The alcohol ink is going to be transferring onto the buffer. So if you see you're not getting the result you want, be sure to switch to a clean side. When you are done sanding, you can use a damp paper towel or a baby wipe to get all of that powder up. It looks amazing as is, but I'm going to take it to the next level with some splatters. I do need to mention that you never want to splatter with blending solution, only isopropyl alcohol, as blending solution has resin in it and you do not want to breathe in all of those particles. I had to add some of the new rose alloy for more interest. And now let's address that warped paper issue that I talked about earlier. The solution is really simple and it's double-sided adhesive. I like to get this big roll from scrapbook.com, but any brand should work fine. I'm going to put the card panel onto the adhesive and then I'm going to press firmly to make sure the adhesive is in all of those raised areas. Now I'm going to cut off the excess adhesive around the card panel. I'm going to press the adhesive really well into the card panel to make sure again that it's in all of those raised areas. Then I'm just going to add it to my card base. I love adding a quick sentiment with a sticker. I love having these on hand because sometimes I don't want to take the time to stamp out a sentiment. So having stickers is a great way to finish off a card quickly. So I love adding some splatters for some more interest and I use some alcohol ink for that. If you find yourself running out of backgrounds because you can't stop doing this simple technique, be sure to check out this playlist right here where I share all of my alcohol ink tips and techniques to help you get creating with confidence. I'll see you there. 